Hi everyone, I'm Chris and welcome to another video from IT Incorporated. In this video I'm going to talk about what you need to know before unlocking your iPhone. I recommend you watch this video first so you know what's involved, the difference between jailbreaking and unlocking an iPhone, what the pros and cons are, what your phone will look like once it's unlocked. In case you don't already know, the main reason for unlocking an iPhone is so that you can switch cell phone providers. As an example, if you bought your phone from Verizon and want to switch to AT&T. In my case, I unlock my iPhone so I can use a pay-as-you-go plan from a local cell phone provider while I'm traveling out of the country. I do get a different phone number when I do this, but it's significantly cheaper and better than purchasing an international roaming plan. Now, I've had comments from some people that don't think you can use a SIM card from a different cell phone provider in an iPhone. So I'm going to demonstrate swapping SIM cards to prove that you can. Also, we're going to have a look at the City app you get when your iPhone is jailbroken. If you have any questions about unlocking your iPhone, like is it legal or if it voids your warranty, I'll provide a link below to a wiki article that will cover most of those questions. The difference between jailbreaking or unlocking an iPhone is that jailbreaking your iPhone allows you to install unauthorized apps. By default, jailbreaking does not unlock your iPhone so that you can use it with different cell phone providers. However, you typically need to jailbreak your iPhone first before you can unlock it. Be aware there are some potential issues if you unlock your iPhone. The most common issue is problems with cell phone reception if you have location services enabled. So if you use apps like Facebook check-in or map programs that depend on location services, you may not want to unlock your iPhone. I've had this issue myself and I haven't been able to fix it, so I'm going to restore my phone to a locked state and then before traveling abroad, I'll temporarily unlock my iPhone for the trip and restore it again when I get back. One more thing I should mention is that after jailbreaking and unlocking an iPhone, it looks and works almost the same as it did before. You should still have all your apps and data before you unlock your phone and it should work with iTunes just fine. Alright, here's an iPhone that is currently jailbroken and unlocked. What you're seeing here is a two camera shot. One shot is just displaying the screen of the phone and the second is an external shot so I can demonstrate switching SIM cards. As you can see, the phone is currently on the Bell network. What I'm going to do is pop out this SIM card and pop in a SIM card from the Rogers network. Alright, there's my Rogers SIM card. Pop her in there. You can see it's searching. I'll flip to settings. You should see it on the Rogers network. You can see I've got location services turned off so it doesn't interfere with cell phone reception. The carrier just disappeared there, but it should come back pretty quick. And then we should see it negotiate to Rogers. And then it should start working. So there's carrier back again, Rogers, and now it's on the Rogers network. The last thing I want to show you is the City app you get when you jailbreak your iPhone. So you can see the City app there right next to the App Store. And just to clear one thing up, there's a common misconception that when you jailbreak your iPhone, all the apps in the App Store are free. That's not the case. If you go into the App Store, they're going to be the same as exactly as it was before you jailbroke your iPhone. The only difference is now that you get the City app. And if you go into the City Store, it actually has paid apps as well. So there are free apps in here and paid apps, just like the Apple App Store. But one of the things I want to show you is the app VNC that I use to record just the screen of the iPhone while making this video. You can see there's the app. It's spelled V-E-E-N-C-Y. And if I go back to the home screen, you can see it's very similar to the Apple App Store. There you go. I hope this video helps you know what you're getting into if you plan on unlocking your iPhone. If you like this video and want to see more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions that weren't answered in the wiki article, just put them in the comments area below and I'll try to answer them. Thanks.